Hello and welcome to Eclipse Gaming. Today I'm going to teach you how to earn gold in Worlds of Draenor before Legion. Should you be watching this during the Legion expansion, most of these methods will not help you. Also be aware that you should probably uh, calculate your gold earnings before you sell anything. So let us begin with missions and raids. With missions in your garrison, you can uh, earn gold by sending your followers on mission. However, you can also get followers with the treasure hunter trade at the inn. Make sure that your inn is at the minimum of level 2 before you do anything. Uh, I would recommend you to have a level 3 barracks for more followers, a level 2 uh, inn, well actually a level 3 inn for more treasure missions and then send them off, try and have as many as treasure hunters as possible and try and earn gold through missions. It's a very passive easy way to get hundreds of gold with just a few clicks of your mouse then well it's entirely optional I don't find it as gold rewarding but cataclysm raids can help you get gold if you are really really low on gold so yeah if you need gold if you're really low on gold and you need somewhere to start Cataclysm Raids is a brilliant place to start Blackwing Descent Throne of the Four Winds Dragon Soul uh, Bastion of Twilight I nearly forgot that name though and um, Firelands of course those raids can help you let us go over to the professions where I make the most money. Now be aware, these methods don't help with every server, with every realm. So again, calculate first before you continue. So, first things first, jewel crafting. With jewel crafting you can make of these upgrades and these stuff but those are either too expensive and rarely sell or they just won't sell at all these are hardly worth anything and you shouldn't really make them what you are after are these which you'll make and then once you've made them make these. These can make you a metric ton of money. Now be aware if you need source of air I would recommend you to take like uh, alchemy or whatsoever to make source of air because if you buy them you will lose more, go more gold even though you will earn your money back but and make profit still but I would recommend you to not spend money on sources air or anything else just try and farm it like using other professions but for the rest really it's just try and make more money while spending the least amount of money the money which you want spent on are true iron ore and black rock ore so let me make these crystals really quick so at the moment uh, I'm at 99 well of course now unfortunately you cannot buy these obviously but if you do have enough like 150 of these you can and you have the air you can make this and this and the fell blight well on my server I'm like 
I have to spend like 2,000 gold at max. 2,000 gold, right? In return, I get up to 8,000 gold. That's a lot of money. So, if you do not follow this method during Worlds of Draenor, you're going to, you know, miss out on a lot of money. Though, again, don't trust my numbers. Trust your own. Check on the auction house, see what works and what doesn't. But yeah, that's how I earn money on geocrafting. Now on to blacksmithing. Let me quickly make this. Unfortunately, I didn't get 100, but this is a less active and less expensive way to earn money. So all you need is dry ore, black rock ore, nothing else. Just keep on with the shipments and with the true steel ingots. And what you want to make are the great axes and the sabers, nothing else. Make sure that you know which one is the most expensive. And of course make sure to undercut it and keep undercutting because I'm sure there are plenty of people that won't undercut yours. Yep, so with that let's move on to another couple of professions which are let me get to him let me get to my warlock uh, tailoring and enchanting now tailoring is also very easy make hex weave cloth these sources earth are farmed using you know blacksmithing and crafting so no problem with that and then you can send them over to your tailorer and you want to make hex weave bags you might want to try this during legion but it's entirely up to you I would try because you know three slots three slots of space per bag you know 120 slots for four bags that's a lot of space and people want a lot of space so I would recommend you to get these nothing else nothing else nothing else makes money nothing else works just these bags as for enchanting now here's the tough one here's the tough one as you can see I have a lot left over because the situation is constantly different every time but the stat that I personally want to focus on is mastery because it tends to it tends to be the number one secondary stat in it during Wards of Draenor once Worlds of Draenor has ended, stop enchanting immediately. Sell these best you can and stop with anything else. This, again, this is the toughest one. You know, the enchanting is the toughest one. If you want a more simple way to earn money, I would try go for these marks like war song thunder lord bleeding hollow they sell well but if you really want to calculate can calculate and take your time and make more money in the long run while taking some risks i would recommend you to go for the gifts of each um, item like rings, snacks, cloaks. However, be aware, remember, remember gifts, not breaths, gifts. Because if you go for breaths, nobody, nobody wants them. They'll just walk away and you'll be left broke and without any money. Useless. So, that's 
what you should do what you should never do in my opinion is go for uh, what was it well, multi strike is the near case spirit good for healers recommendable uh, but versatility while during this expansion it works maybe I would not recommend it because if you stack up mastery you'll be able to do a lot of more damage than stacking up versatility of course PvP is it's probably best to stack up versatility but when it comes to PvE mastery is usually the number one thing and a lot of people are doing PvE nowadays because PvP, let's face it, it sucks. So mastery is your get go. If you have difficulties with enchanting, again, go for these uh, weapons, the, these marks. These will get you a good amount of money. Um, yeah, that's basically how I earn money. It's not much. But it will certainly get you to some goal. Like here, with bags and enchants alone, 50,000 gold with some dormants. Here, with just um, jewel crafting and blacksmithing, I went from like 40,000 gold from the start of the expansion, and over time, I you know sometimes quit making money and when I know and when I found out about this method myself I got myself to 300,000 gold now don't expect this to earn in a short amount of time expect this to earn in a long period of time but it will get you at least enough money for Legion once Legion hits you can try and continue to go with the weapons, but expect the press to just drop, drop straight to the abyss. Because, you know, no, probably nobody wants these. And I'm on a role playing server, so I might be able to get some profit out of it, but not much. So, yeah. Again, just to get you through quickly again. Make these, make this, make this, make the bags, make enchantments that get you to mo the most gold or just the marks, whichever sells best. Uh, and at your garrison. These treasure missions there you go so that's it that's how I earn gold if you want to know about other gold guides and stuff with leather working alchemy and such I don't think they make a lot of gold right now However, alchemy can be useful for tr uh, for changing, for example, fire to air, if you need it. So that's definitely recommendable, though not for making gold. So be aware of that. As for the rest, if you have any questions or suggestions for the channel, or for me personally, drop it in the comments below. I keep on looking, I uh, keep on trying to uh, answer them as soon as possible when I have the time and um, yeah I'm thinking about making uh, everyday videos like one video per day could be fun I mean I'm enjoying making this video right now and I really hope that you all enjoy these videos as well like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the day.